Hey developers, so today we are looking at slots inside Vue.js, which is a really cool feature that allows you to use parent and child components in a different way than you may not have used before. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip on how to use that. So make sure you watch all the way to the end and you can learn all about it. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book. And just I'm just a big fan of JavaScript, Vue.js, web development front end development, back end development. So if you guys like those type of things, make sure you click that like button on this video and click subscribe and you can learn more about it in the future. All right, oh yeah, and a quick thing, I just wanna to mention to you guys, if you want to jump around this video, that is perfectly fine. I actually put timestamps in all my videos, so you can just click on the timestamps at the bottom, you can jump forward, jump back, that's awesome, go for it. All right, so let's go and jump into this app right here. And by the way, if you wanna follow along, I'll make sure I'll upload this app to GitHub and the link will be in the description too. Oh yeah, and you didn't think I would get this far without a quick plug. I do have a course called Vue 360 and also I'm doing some newer, cooler things with Vue and giving some free content away. If you click in the link in the description, you go to course.viewcourse.tech, you can sign up for it. Please do so. Okay, let's see here. This is a brand new app. I'm using Vue 3 right now. This is the release candidate of Vue 3 as of this recording. Uh, so I just wanna show you, I have one simple component called app. This is basically out of the box view. If you use Vue CLI and you create a new app, this is what you get. So I'm gonna create a new component in here. I'm gonna call it child. And in this, I'm gonna use, see by the way, I'm using an extension that I can just type vbase in and I hit tab and it automatically fills everything out. If you're interested in that, um, you can check out Sarah Dresner's, Sarah Drasner's view extensions or view snippets. And I'm just going to see if this works. Child says, well, let's do this. Let's do an h3 tag. Hello from child. And if I do that, I need to go back to my app view and actually import it, of course. So import child from at. Remember, you can use the at sign that defaults to the source folder. So that'd be components slash child.view, and then I just need to add that in child here, and then I can add it in child here. Let's see if that worked. Refresh it, hello from child. So now we have created our first child component. So if you remember how to do slots, it's pretty simple. Uh, the way you wanna do slots is instead of just closing this bracket here, we actually wanna keep it open. So I'm gonna do this child. And in between here, I can type something in. So if I wanna put in hello world, and by the way, I'm gonna go pretty quick through this tutorial. So at any time you get confused, feel free to stop the, the still feel free to pause it and you can watch it over again. I know some people actually tell me they watch all my videos in 1.5 or 2X. If you do, let me know, leave a comment below if you watch my videos in 2X. I'm just interested because I think I talk pretty fast already. All right. So here, you can see here, I did that and nothing changed. And this is saved. But if I want this content in between the opening and closing brackets of my child component to actually be seen, what I need to do is go into the child component itself and then add in this thing called slot. And it sort of looks like this. And if I do that, now you can see here, hello world is showing up. Or it's actually hello from child, hello world. Let's see, yeah, this hello world here. I'll delete this, I'll put this, I'll make this say hello from slot. So that makes more sense. So here, here it says hello from slot. So you can see, yep, slot is working. So now you're probably, and I have a question for you guys that are watching. This should be pretty easy. If you're new, to, if this is kind of a beginner's video, by the way, so if this is not your cup of tea, you know, feel free to watch the next video. But if I put something in here, let's say I put a button in here and this button says press me and I add a click handler to it. So I'm gonna put in this at click and it's gonna be, I don't know, call it pressed. And then let's say I put a methods here and I have a pressed and I put in alert, hello from slot. I should be hello from parent. The question is if I had another method in here, the same thing called pressed, is this button going to talk to the parent component, basically this app view component, even though this is a slot right here, or is it gonna to talk to the child component? And that's the question. 
Okay, so I gave you guys a few seconds to think about it and let's try it. So if I kick, click this button, I get the alert, hello from parent. So essentially what's happening is anything with inside the opening closing brackets of this child of this child component for the slot uses the parent component or basically this app views scope. So in other words, we can access this pressed from inside this parent even though it's in between the slot right here. So that's the way it works. Basically same thing as if it's in the in the parent uh, parent scope here, parent component. So now you're thinking like, well, I've heard of slots and scope slots. So how does that work? Well, we can we can do something like this inside our child component. We can attach stuff to the slot, and I'm not. There is ways too. We can have like multiple slots, and we can define different names. I'm not going to go into that, but let's do a very simple example. I'm going to have this data object here. And this is going to return basically an object. And I'm going to have something called data in it. And I can name this whatever I wanted to. But I'll put this is from the child. It's just a simple string that says this is from the child. And I'll just make sure I do this right. And I need an arrow function. Did I do that right? Let's see here. Let me correct it. There we go. Let's see. Still have an error. There we go. Okay, so I have this data object. Now I can actually pass this data object over inside the slot like this. Make sure I put data, that means it's going to bind it. I'm doing basically a vbind there. And then I can pass the data over. So now if I go to this app view, I actually basically can retrieve data from my child component into my, inside my parent component, inside this app view. And the way to do that is I can do a vslot here. And then from here, I can put in the Basically, I can extract the data coming through and it comes in as like an object so I can destructure it and just grab the data out of it. So if I do that and then I wanted to actually use the data somewhere, I'll save it. Cool. I say, hello friend, this is from the child. So let's take a look. We could, this is from the child. This is from the child slot scope. So this is from the child slot scope. So you could see right here we're able to grab data from the the child component, which is this one right here, and pull this into the parent component up here. Um, maybe I can do this. You can see hello from child. This is from the slot scope, which is kind of cool. I could also, I know I could put styles around this and put a border around it, but you get the idea. This is from the child's, this, this essentially, if we look here, is um, from this child scope. All right, so now the next question you might have is, you remember this example before we had this button click, but it was actually using, even though it's between the opening and closing brackets of this child component, it was still using this parent component scope. What happens if we actually wanted to run a method from the child component? So this one right here. So let's say I created a new one. Uh, I'm gonna create one called methods. Inside this methods, I'm gonna create my own um, I'm just call it hello for lack of a better method name and it's gonna have a window to alert that says um, this is from the child okay so this is from the child and now I can actually um, I can send this over in the slot as well so I'm gonna go I can do something like this hello equals hello doesn't have to be the same name, but that's fine. Now I can, now this parent com app can actually grab hello as well. So I can do a second button, a uh, button. Let's try it. This, there we go. <laughs> and then we're gonna, we'll say this is the child component button. By the way, I'm sorry, my keyboard's a little clicky. So I'll do another click, but this time I'll pull out hello. So let's see what happens there. So now I have, and I, I don't have any real styling here. So if you're looking for styling, I apologize. Let's just do a break there. Okay, so press me, this is for the child slot scope, this is child component. So you do press me, this is hello from parent. But if I do child component, this is from the child. So basically, 
So this is from the child. So I'm getting the window alert from my child component. So I was able to pass back in from the child component back to the parent component using slots, an actual function, which is really awesome. Yeah, so that, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So if you didn't know that, you can certainly talk two ways between a child component and parent component using slots, which is really cool. Now, those of you who have been around for view a while are probably thinking, yeah, I could have done that easily with, with props, and then I could have emitted values back and done all that. But I think this, uh, once you start getting into slots and you're like arranging data from a child component to a parent component, sometimes doing slot scoped just makes more sense. It definitely does. So uh, thank you again for watching. That's all I have today. I really appreciate it. For those of you who watch all the way to the end, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Love it, hate it. Is this too beginner for you guys? Is this too like way too easy for you? If it is, leave a comment. Or if this is way too hard for you guys, leave a comment. Um, I'm trying to get better at these tutorials, trying to explain it better, and, and scopes are one of them. Uh, by the way, I did use Vue 3 here, and I'm just using the, the options API. I could have certainly set up a setup function and use the composition API, but I thought just for the simple example, I didn't. So I could have switched this hello into the setup function. Uh, would have worked just as well. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think of these tutorials. Let me know what you want to know next and leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, make sure you go to course.viewcourse.tech and sign up for my email newsletter and I'll let you know when I have some new cool stuff with Vue 3. Thanks.